What's up guys, it's your boy Darskin, and today we're going to be talking about Venti. Now, the reason why we're going to be talking about Venti is because if you guys don't know, Venti is actually getting his first rerun banner, and it's going to be coming in patch 1.4. It's going to be the first banner coming out. Now, I could drop a whole bunch of vid videos on Rosaria, but unfortunately, with the uh, English live stream, they announced that Rosaria is going to be in Child's banner, not Venti's. So Venti's banner is probably going to feature four stars that are already in the game that we've already had. So uh, unfortunately, we're gonna have to wait a couple more weeks, a couple more weeks for Rosaria before we get her and stuff like that. But about Venti, uh, a lot of people have been talking about Venti and saying uh, they don't know if he's that good or if he's actually worth it or whatever. So I want to give you guys my thoughts on Venti because I've used Venti more than any other character in the game. He has never left my team. So, with that being said, we're going to go ahead and get into that. But before we do, let's get into the intro. So a lot of people want to know why Venti's so good or why people say that he's so worth it or whatever the case may be. So as a person that's played him for as long as I have since day one, uh, I wanted to basically just give you guys my information and my thoughts on it so that you guys can pretty much make a decision on if you should summon for Hu Tao or if you should summon for Venti or whatever the case may be. All right. So as far as Venti, let's go ahead and go into this. So as far as Venti, which I don't want to... Uh, I don't want to have him talking and stuff like that. But anyways, um, Venti is a character that makes the game a lot easier. And that is the main reason why he's so good. It's ease of use. Uh, yes, you can't use his ult or his ultimate's not going to be as good as far as like bosses, you know, because he can't pull the bosses in or whatever. But bosses is very little of the gameplay most of the gameplay you're going to be fighting smaller mobs that can be pulled in and that'll take a lot of damage from venti's ult not to mention his e generates so much energy uh along with his ult generating a lot of energy and um all of that being it's, it's just super good it's like east of it just makes the game so easy if you played abyss you understand how much value venti has off of Abyss alone, right? Like 11-2, right? 11-2, everyone talks about that being one of the hardest stages in Abyss history, being one of the hardest stages Abyss has currently. But with Venti, you kind of pop his ult, all the enemies get sucked in, they can't really do anything, you one-shot the enemies, in a couple of seconds, Venti's gonna have his ult up, he's gonna rinse, repeat, do it over and over and over. Now, the thing that's super cool about Venti, on top of all of this ease of use, is his E ability. Not only does his E ability knock up, which is nice, when he knocks up, it slow, it makes the enemies fall slowly, right? So that's pretty cool, but you can also use his E ability to fly into the air. Now, this is really good for many uses, climbing mountains, if you're trying to get more height for flying somewhere else. There's a lot of different things that you can do with that. On top of, it allows you to spam plunge attacks, right? Which is really nice as well. Now, obviously, if you have someone like Zhao, you can just pop ult, but anybody else, and you wouldn't, you know? So before Zhao came out, that was one of the go-to things for, um, you know, getting a lot of plunge attacks in. Now, I know a lot of people are going to say, oh, well, you don't really need Venti now. And I agree, Venti has definitely lost his value as much as earlier on in the game. Because earlier on in the game, we weren't doing as much damage. We weren't, um, you know, it, it wasn't as easy. So having a character that makes the game easier was really nice. Uh, if you're like AR45, AR50, 55+, plus, Venti is not as insane as he used to be. Um, especially now that Zhongli's been buffed. And Zhongli easily is the best support in the game. You could obviously argue Bennett, but... You know, Zhongli, ease of use, you literally take no damage. It, it, easily one of the best units in the game, if not the best unit in the game, in my opinion. So, Venti definitely loses value there, but you gotta stack it against who you have in your account, number one, and number two, does he bring more to the table than Hu Tao, or I guess Child, if you're putting it against Child, and that's gonna ultimately depend on what you want and what you need. 
because Hu Tao is a damage dealer, pyro damage dealer. So if you have either of those two already, you don't really need Hu Tao. Moving on to uh, Child. Child is a hydro damage dealer. If you don't really need either of those two, then there you go. Venti is a unit that most characters don't do what he does, right? There's not many units that can match him in utility as far as the support. He has the best CC in the game, bar none. Second best CC in the game going to Zhongli with his petrification. Um, obviously, Sucrose is a pretty good, you know, pick, but uh, Sucrose is not Venti. This is just some of the reasons why Venti is so good and why so many people are saying Venti was a must-have or is a must-have as far as right now. Now, like I said, ultimately, it depends on you as far as what you do with, you know, your account or who you summon for. But I thought I'd give you guys some information on that. If you guys want to see some uh, gameplay or if you guys want to see some showcases, I will be doing showcases over the next week or two or however long um, just to get you guys ready for when Venti ultimately drops so you guys can basically see what he does. Uh, I will. He does. Ha I, I use him with a four-star weapon as well. It's R5, but you'll eventually get R5 of, you know, on a four-star weapon. So... Um, but yeah, there you guys go. That's going to be it for this video. Be sure to give it a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Comment down below. Tell me what you guys say in the comment section below. With that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.